Folks, we do have some breaking news we want to tell you about right now. This is a police chase going on. We understand this is Oklahoma County happening near the Choctaw area. Jim Garner is up in Bob Mill Sky News 9. Jim, talk to us. Well, that's right. You're looking at this red SUV that uh, Oklahoma County was in pursuit of. Now, they went uh, northbound and came up on Hiawassee into Jones. They're now westbound on Britain, just past Post. Now, they just crossed the river going westbound here. They got uh, Jones Police. Oklahoma County and several other agencies in pursuit of this what red SUV. We're still trying to find out exactly what they're in pursuit of this car for. Now this person has stopped several times, has stopped, and once they started to walk up on him, he took off again. So again, he's one of those that'll stop and then wait for the police to come up and then he'll take off again. Now this has reached in over 100 miles an hour going down Britain Road westbound. So it's reached dangerous speeds here. We're getting ready to cross Midwest Boulevard here it's going, so we're going westbound on Britain. We're getting ready to cross Midwest Boulevard here, which is a four-way stop, and he's going to completely run the four-way stop without slowing down at all. We are doing about 80 miles an hour right now going westbound on Britain here as we cross Midwest Boulevard. Like I said, I don't know if you all have any information or not. I do not have it on why they're in pursuit of this vehicle or why the pursuit was started. But like I said, it started uh, well uh, south of Jones and came up high bossy and then into Jones and then came out of Jones onto Britain Road and now we're westbound here and we're getting ready to come up to uh, Acre View Drive and we will pass Allison Lane and it'll be Air Depot Boulevard that we will cross here. Like I said, we're still doing, we're still doing about 80 miles an hour going westbound on Britain here. So again, uh, we're coming up to another four-way stop here and uh, that may be a two-way, but uh, possibly, you know, it's a four-way. Uh, he slowed down a little bit, but he went right through the four-way stop without stopping at all. We are slowing down now, so we'll see what's going to happen here. But uh, again, like I said, I don't have the information of why they're in pursuit of this car, but it's been a pretty wild chase, reaching uh, speeds in excess of, of 100 miles an hour here westbound on Britain. We kind of maintained 80 till we slowed down right there. So again, oh, he's picking up speed again, so we are really starting to roll again westbound here on Britain. We'll be coming up to... We'll be crossing Sooner Road here shortly, and probably the next uh, couple of miles we'll be crossing. And he is really giving it the gas now. We are doing well over 100 here as we come up to Sooner Road, which is another four-way stop. Slowing down a little bit. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. He's going to make a turn to the left. Oh, he's going to, oh, we tried to double back on him here. So now we're going southbound on Sooner Road. Southbound on Sooner Road is where we are headed. And like I said, if you guys got any information at all over this, just uh, cut me off and pick up here because, like I said, I don't have any information of why they're in pursuit of this car. Jim, we're working but, uh, on But we are really picking up speed here speak. going southbound on Sooner. And I'm looking way ahead here, and it's just an open road right now, so I'm not sure what he's going to do here. I mean, it's been a very dangerous pursuit. We have crossed at least three or four four-way stops that he just completely blew through here, and that is very dangerous. Anybody starts to pull out in front of this SUV here. Okay, Jim, we appreciate it. Uh, stay with this guy, and uh, we're trying to get that information on why exactly they're trying to pull over this driver of this SUV. Uh, this is a chase, Jim. But what, how long has this chase been going on for? It's been going on for at least uh, 15, uh, 20 minutes here. Okay. We come, he's come up behind a semi here. Like I said, we just crossed Wilshire, southbound on Sooner, just crossed Wilshire here. So, again, uh, it's still a pretty open road here. And when he gets a section to open road, he really opens up in this SUV here. And uh, like I said, we still have uh, several agencies in pursuit of him right now. I count four, it looks like four different agencies that are behind this car uh, of different police agencies here pursuing this uh, SUV. Like I said, we are still coming down. We'll be coming up to 63rd Street. So we'll be southbound sooner, coming up to 63rd, which is another uh, four-way stop here. Uh, he's, and he's, boy, he's just flying through here. And Jim, you were Passing explaining earlier uh, that, that you know, he would he'd slow down and it looked like he, he might jump out of the car and then he'd speed up again. He's slowing down now. Where's he going? Now we went, uh, now we're going westbound on 63rd. Westbound on 63rd. So we're getting closer to the metro area here, uh, Carl, as we come here. So we are westbound on 63rd. So he'll hit we'll Coltrane coming up next. To, uh, so the next ma major road will be Hilltop Drive. We'll be coming up to Hilltop Drive here. And he has really stretched it out again. We are well in excess of 100 miles an hour here. 
uh, going uh, westbound on 63rd. And Bell the next uh, coal train will be coming up to coal train here very quickly. Like yeah. I said, Carl, we're well over 110 miles an hour in that short section right there. Plus, just blew through another four-way stop there, coal train in excess of 110 miles an hour. Now, we'll be coming up here to I-35 here shortly. Right. So he's slowing down. Looks like we may have another police agency here coming up eastbound on 63rd here. We're going to start uh, we'll to get into what, the rush see hour, what they're going too. To. I don't so. know if he's going to have time to put out stop sticks or anything on on this. Yeah, and I, I, mean, I imagine Air One's up there with you, Jim. Get around and join the pursuit here. But, uh, yeah, Carl, now we're coming up to I-35 here, so we'll see what we're going to do. Like I said, we're westbound on 63rd. We just crossed, uh, we're coming up to I-35, that's Bryant Boulevard, that, uh, where that uh, four-way stop is. Okay, yeah. he's still coming. Okay. He's still going to, he's going to come westbound on 63rd. He's not going to get on I-35. I'm going to have to roll around here real quick. Yeah, he definitely got a, a good so shot at him. Around. He was still westbound on 63rd. So he will end up, okay, he passed I-35. He'll end up near Martin Luther King yeah. if he continues on westbound. Going by the health department there on your left. Hey, Jim, can you give us an idea of just how many patrol units are following this guy? Well, not anymore now, Carl. They have term County has terminated to pursuit. It looks like we may have some other people in front here picking it up. Like I said, this is a red SUV. There's an, uh, there's an undercover officer right there just pulled in. Okay, he's coming up to go Martin Luther King Boulevard here. So let's see what he does here. He's at, okay, he's gonna go northbound on Martin Luther King Boulevard. He's gonna go northbound on Martin Luther King. Okay, now he's gonna come back and get on the service road here at 63rd Street, so he's He's getting back on 63rd, coming westbound, just across Martin Luther King here. We do have an undercover uh, look like officer that uh, has picked this up that is behind him. I don't know what agencies he's with, but now he's really stretching down on 63rd again. We're in excess of 80 miles, miles an hour here as we get, uh, you know, the next, next road we're going to be coming up to, major road's going to be uh, Kelly, and then it'll be, uh, you know, after that it'll be Broadway Extension 235 here. Yeah, and uh, just north of the 44 junction there. So we'll see what he does. See what he does there. I'm looking back. It looks like this uh, undercover police officer is kind of hanging back and really not, uh, really not going too fast. Now that was just Kelly just blew through. I hope that was a green light, which it looks like it was. But we are still westbound on 63rd, just past Kelly there. So we'll be coming up to. 235 Broadway extension there. We'll see what he does there, Carl. That's a busy, busy area, Jim. How fast do you think he's going right now? Well, right now, he's doing an excess of 80 miles an hour right now. Hmm. And you can see he's just blowing by cars that are on the road. So the law like enforcement... Said, uh, it's going to get real congested up here at and 63rd and Broadway extension. Yeah. And, and Jim, just... see I, what happens here. I, I know you've covered a million of these things, and... Uh, just to be clear, this is kind of standard operating procedure sometimes during chases that law enforcement will fall back. I imagine, though, they are still continuing to follow from the air. Is that what you're seeing? Is Air One with you up there? Well, there's nobody with me right now, Carl. We're just, we're it right now. Wow. And like I said, uh, he's going, he went the wrong way on 63rd there, coming over the bridge. Luckily, he's he going did up not to another, another light here. And uh, right now I'm seeing nobody. Well, I, yeah, I'm seeing nobody in pursuit of him right now. Okay. And, and he's still westbound on 63rd. And so we'll see what, uh, we'll see if anybody picks this up or we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just follow him to his destination, Carl, here. It'd be, uh, be pretty interesting if we could find out uh, why they were in pursuit of this person. And we are getting like a said, little was, bit more uh, information it's been a about long that. long chase. And like I said, it was stop and go. He would stop and pull over. And when the police get out, he would take off again here. So this has been going on uh, way south of Jones as it entered Jones and came westbound out of Jones on Britain. And now we're on 63rd going westbound. And I still uh, see no officers. Uh, hmm. You know, like I said, that county called off the pursuit, but I see nobody picking this up, Carl, right now. 
And, and Jim, we understand so that this thing... Uh, the Nichols Hills area. Yeah, we're, we're learning a, a little bit more. Uh, Jim, just real quick, we're learning a little bit more. This thing did start as a traffic stop. So it, it was a traffic stop and the guy didn't pull over. Obviously, maybe, so, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but maybe so much more is involved because right. typically people don't just take off and do high-speed chases when it's Steve. just a nope, nope, nope. typical he, traffic he's stop. He's weaving through, so he's Western. running against the lights still and he's weaving through traffic now we went we're going northbound here looks like what street uh, we got on looks like we're on western going northbound from 63rd now he's kind of slowed down so i think he thinks that he's finally outrun uh all the pursuers here but like i said he is northbound on that and now he's just going at the regular looks like regular speed of uh traffic uh, he's been throwing stuff out he just threw something else out so he's been throwing something out all the time during his pursuit. He was throwing stuff out of the car. And uh, we don't know what it is. Well, just you uh, saying that, Jim, that's going to help I mean, authorities if they can go pick is, that up. We won't do that. We'll just stay with this. And we'll see if uh, anybody, if Oklahoma City uh, comes in or anybody comes in. Like I said, there was an undercover car that pulled in. But he was, uh, I guess, called off, Carl. Uh, he has stopped. Looks like it's a, it looks like it's a male driver. Yeah, he's just kind of relaxed now. He just—I uh, mean, he's still going he's pretty fast. Relaxed, though. But he has run pretty much every four-way stop, and he's pretty much blown through every traffic light uh, that he has come up against. Okay. So down again, now. Carl, uh, I—you I, know—I guess the only thing we'll do is we'll just uh, keep tab. Well, he's cutting through. Look at this. Uh, yeah, he's cutting through a, a parking lot there. And he's going to come. It's going to look like we're going to end up back on Wilshire again. Yep, we're Whoa. back eastbound on Wilshire now. He's going so back we're headed to back east. 235. Headed toward the Broadway That's extension right, we'll right be coming now. up to 235 uh, very shortly. Like I said, he's kind of slowed down and went, well, now he's going to speed up again. Yeah, now he's speeding up again. There's, there's no cars behind him. And Carl, so this so chase we'll has been going up, on uh, for about 30 minutes now. Started uh, roughly around 3.50. And it went from Jones and then went uh, southbound into Oklahoma City and then back west. And here we are right now on Wilshire headed eastbound toward the Broadway extension. And law enforcement has pulled off of this. And so um, I, I guess, Jim, if you could kind of explain, is that I, we, we say that's kind of a standard thing, but uh, typically in these chases, the, it, it picks right back up again with officers coming in. Uh, do you see any officers around? No, well, look at this. See, he went through that uh, gas station, cut over their grass. Doesn't want to stop went under the, light. the bridge. Okay, now, oh, he's wrong way. He's uh -oh. wrong way on uh -oh. the off ramp. Okay. He's on wrong way on the off ramp here. So this is the that, service. Uh, is off ramp to Wilshire, coming off the bound. Broadway extension. Yes. Going up the wrong way. He's. He's going oh, southbound. He, and yeah, southbound down, right? northbound off ramp. He's going to try to jump on. 235. I don't know what he's trying to do here, Carl, because he's in the, the very, you know, traffic. We're getting into that time of day where we're going to get into the rush hour. Uh, looks like we got, okay. a, we got a police officer just pulled up on him. A couple of them. Let's see what happens here. Up, oh, nope, there he is. He's going to, he's going to back up and try to run hey, again. I just, and still uh, going He's the still wrong going the wrong, the wrong direction here. Again, this is the Broadway okay. Extension. Oh, now he's going to into this center here. He's going to weave through. Let's see what he's going to do here, Carl. There's a back street back here. And that's an officer right behind him. It looks like that's Santa Fe that's right there. So now he is on Santa Fe, which is just to the east side of uh, Broadway and 235 here, going southbound on Santa Fe. And that is you a, saw that uh, he went the wrong way on that Wilshire off ramp going southbound on the on the northbound off ramp there, and uh, that got that could have been that could have been pretty hairy right there. But uh, the police officer showed up and he turned around and he got on Santa Fe going southbound here, and we're going to be coming up to 63rd Street again. Hey Jim, I just want to make sure I, I that car behind that is law enforcement right there, that black vehicle. That's I, law enforcement I, okay, right there. Okay, thank you. That just. Uh, pulled up right. to him there. It's a, it looks See like it an Oklahoma County Sheriff car again. 
That looked like they had him boxed so in. The sheriff car is kind of just hanging back. So is he still headed southbound on Santa Fe? What? That's right. Now he's come up to 63rd again, so we'll see. Okay. Uh, Oklahoma City now has just pulled back up there. Now Oklahoma City has pulled up behind him. So now we are eastbound on 63rd again. So we'll see what he does here. He's picking up speed. So, so we're he will hit Kelly. That's going to be one of the next major mm -hmm. intersections next. And then we will see if he continues oh, on right. eastward. And then I'm just that, worried uh, MLK. that you know, the, he has no considerations for life or property, the way he's been running these four-way stops and everything. He's just blown right through them. You are there watching our breaking news as we just continue stop this sign. coverage. He's just completely blown through those without even slowing down. And uh, he's coming up these traffic lights. And basically, he's been running the traffic lights. OK, he just crossed over without stopping. There, we're still eastbound on 63rd. Okay. So we'll be coming up to uh, the 44 here mm -hmm. and stuff. And we'll see what he, see what he does here. Uh, we've been back and forth on 63rd here now in Wilshire. And he has weaved so in and out of traffic, but Jim, I like have not seen him hit anybody off. or hit any, but any vehicles. No, I don't think so. We'll get Jim shot back up here in a second here, but yeah, no, we, we were just talking about Those that. We haven't seen ways. him hit anyone. So this is going to be around 63rd. Now Cowboy. That's, that is okay. the Cal entrance to the Cowboy Hall of Fame right there. Now, I don't know what he's doing, so he's going to back up. He's going to go into the Cowboy Hall of Fame, I guess, thinking that, uh, okay, if the police get up here and block that entrance, there's not gonna be a, then there's really no way yeah. out for him. He can drive around this parking lot and basically drive out again, but if they were to come up. So Cowboy Hall of Fame. Hey, yeah, Jim, are, do we have police cars going into the parking lot? Were they close enough to see this guy go in there like that? Uh, there's one Oklahoma City officer coming up. He is talking to somebody. Somebody walked up to him at the door there and is talking to him. Well, now the Oklahoma City police officer turned around and is headed back the other direction. Uh, so he, he may be asking for directions here. I don't know. Oh, that's a first. He's right there yeah. in the I, National is, Cowboy Hall of Fame parking this lot. This is frustrating, isn't it? Right there in an enclosed well, now parking the, lot. Now the almost hit that car right there that was coming out. Now the police officer's coming back okay. in. He spun back around. Okay, now it looks like we may have two Oklahoma City officers, three Oklahoma City officers now pulling in. What's the tan SUV? What's the story there? I have no idea, Carl. Hopefully he is not trying to switch vehicles. Are you oh, kidding? Here we go. Are you kidding me? Okay, what are we going to do here? All they got to do is block that entrance. Did somebody get out of that red vehicle, Jim, and get into the other vehicle? No, nobody got out of the red nobody vehicle. Nobody did. I think okay. it was that person in that SUV there. Okay, somebody right. blocked the entrance here. Come on. Are you kidding me? Lock the entrance. Do not Lock let the this happen. Uh, okay. Here we go again. Here we go. Now we're back. Oh, we're in the back okay. 63rd Street. Back now we're eastbound, eastbound, right? Eastbound. Back on six. Wow. Had a chance to stop this, but he just continued he's on. Definitely he, running. He oh, crossing the wrong side of traffic. Now he's wrong side of traffic. Wrong side of traffic on 63rd. Going east in the westbound lanes here, blowing right through the. Okay, now he's going to, there's another Oklahoma City officer. Okay, now he is turning uh, on to, I believe that's Martin Luther King Boulevard. Is he going northbound or southbound, Jim? He's southbound on Martin Luther King. There's another police car right there. Oh, now he's whipped back on 63rd again. Well, this okay, has to be so uh, frustrating. And I know it's not just frustrating for us, but officers as well. Uh, as Jim shot, we reestablished Jim shot here, but... Boy, they, they had this guy boxed in, and he's gotten in. This happened a couple of times now. A uh, pursuit that started right before, like, 350-ish. Jim, what was the fastest speed that's that right, you clocked him right. at? He's picking up speed on 63rd again. Now, we're going to be coming up to I-35, but there's no uh, on-ramp 
or anything here on I-35, so he's going to have to stay eastbound on 63rd, picking up at a high rate of speed. So we'll be coming up to Bryant. Again, if he stays eastbound on 63rd, we'll be coming up to Bryant. He's just done right, a, a, prompts a big loop here, yes. hasn't he? And we'll see what he does here. Right through the light again. Such a close he call. He went right through the light again. So we're still, still, <laughs> still eastbound on 63rd. Uh, I don't know if, I don't even know if we have any officers behind him again yet. They may have dropped off again. This chase going on but, uh, for almost 40 minutes now where officers have been right on his tail and then let him go a little bit. Maybe it was getting a little too dangerous and then they got back on so close to, to getting him stopped. And I've never seen anything that happened at that at Cowboy Hall of Fame right there. He, he was in a parking spot. He talked to a guy there. Right. And then there was another car that came out and because he almost hit that car, right? And, the, and that driver came out and then the officers were right there blocking uh, the entrance of the parking lot, but not blocking the entrance to the actual Cowboy Hall of Fame, and he was able to sneak away again. And apparently this chase started okay, with a Coltrane traffic stop. Now. We're eastbound on 63rd again, passing Coltrane. And, you know. And, and, and Jim, this, we're back to this, this law point, enforcement. Kind of dumbfounded here, on because I see no officers behind him. Yeah, they've fallen time, back. So we're, you know, we're going to be... Yeah, he's left turn signals on, but I don't think there's no place to turn. But, you know, it's uh, it's one of those frustrating things here. The next major intersection will be Sooner Road if he's heading eastbound on Northeast 63rd Street. That's right. At least he's slowed down. I mean, at least he has slowed down and uh, kind of taken it his normal speed here. But, you know, there, there's got to be, I mean, he has just refused to stop every time he's been confronted by an officer he has uh, got away somehow and just not uh, yielded to the officer or the police officers he's basically just uh, found a way to get out and take off again and like i said he's just going very very slow right now and now he's now he's Speed speeding up. up again as we get the sooner he's running right through the four-way stop again So we'll just, uh, at this point, I really don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, I, we'll just I let people kind of know where he's back, going. Uh, way out in uh, the rural area east here. So I don't know, like I said, Oklahoma County first started this pursuit. I don't know if they'll pick it back up. I know they terminated it as it was getting closer to the metro. They terminated it. Then there was Oklahoma City kind of, kind of got involved. But then once he got back here eastbound on 63rd after the Cowboy Hall of Fame, uh, they, it looks like they've been called off also. So we're just uh, tracking him along here at 63rd. I have uh, two and a half hours of fuel, so hopefully it won't last that long. Well, we uh, hope not, but this guy, know. he doesn't seem and, to want to uh, stop. We'll just, we'll just keep tabs on him here. Well, that's great, Jim. So has he reached Air Depot yet? That's the next major street that he was set to pass. That's right. He is crossing uh, Air Depot right now. Not yielding at all, just blowing through the four-way stop again. Now we're getting into you know, a, a more rural area after Air Depot, especially. And yep, he's uh, he's kind of slowed down again. You know, there for a while he was he was driving eastbound. Uh, you know, in the wrong lane, he was uh, in the westbound lanes there, coming out of uh, the Cowboy Hall of Fame, and drove in the wrong lanes for about a mile and then he got back over luckily there were you know no cars coming but uh we're going to be coming up to midwest boulevard again here as we go eastbound on 63rd again and jim like what's said, his speed reaching is, is, what's his speed he looks like he's going we'll fast see if he blows through this four-way stop and jim do you have a read on his speed that he was just doing uh, well he's he's pretty much kept it at the uh, you know the speed of the uh, you know flow of traffic here uh, and it looks like he's actually going to stop maybe at this four-way stop it's, okay, it's almost so as if he stopped he's trying to figure out if, if if he's still being chased at this point i mean i i, I think surely he is, sees Carl. you I think, uh, he's waiting to see if anybody's coming up behind him and yeah you know, at, at, at this point i mean he's he's 
he has he's had to see us right flying along the side here so and that was just Midwest Boulevard he passed so then the next major intersection would be North Douglas Boulevard heading eastbound on Northeast 63rd Street that's right that's right we'll uh, you know I mean we could repeat this over and over and over but again we're eastbound on 63rd to be coming up to Douglas Boulevard and there is uh, no law enforcement officers at all behind him so you know we'll we'll just have to see what the plan is here and, as we and get further out east here if you know Oklahoma County is going to get back involved or if everybody's kind of just said hey you know just let the guy go it'd be pretty interesting what he was throwing out of the car and during all this pursuit he kept throwing out the uh, you know uh, bags of stuff and even get even I forgot close to the last bag that came out was really close to uh, the 63rd and uh, 235 Broadway extension there when he threw out the last thing we see come out of the car. Well, so now he's driving he's, like he's nothing happened. He's following the traffic rules now. He's uh, stopping at the four-way stops, which is good. Jim, got a question for you. When you zoom in, when Rich Kriegel zooms in, are you able to see if anybody else is in the vehicle or is it just the driver? Uh, uh, so far, we've just seen the driver. We're going to go 2x here and see if we can see anything but i don't see anybody else in the passenger seat at least i from what i can see i got sun on my monitor so i really can't tell is he throwing and, more uh, stuff yeah. out the car there i saw his hand out the window yeah he's he threw some pa paper out there i believe but he's been throwing stuff out of that car all the way all the way on this uh, not even pursued anymore I mean, it's just a, it's just a regular drive here, but you know, he's, we definitely know he's wanted by police. We definitely know that he, uh, you know, it was a regular traffic stop, but he uh, did not yield officers at the regular and took off. And then it's just been a stop and go here where he'd stop, wait till the officers get out, just like you saw there at 63rd and Broadway Stitch when he came up the ramp the wrong direction and that officer confronted him. He just uh, took off again. That's the way it's been through this pursuit as he's stopped and they come up there and start to confront him and he takes off again. So he's definitely not wanting to be caught. If you want to, you know, he's definitely There's not wanting to be time. caught. And like I said, we're, we are still, we are still going. I believe everyone's calling me. Hang on just a moment. Okay. You got it. We'll just recap. If yeah. you happen to be joining us right now, this chase started about 3.50 this afternoon. Oklahoma County, the ones to start the chase after this red vehicle was pulled over, apparently not wanting to stop, though, for officers. Started in Jones, and then he made his way into Oklahoma City and basically did a loop, and now he's on 63rd going westbound. Have that right, correct? Yeah, westbound on, on, no, on six. No, he's going eastbound, eastbound 63rd, 63rd Street. Uh -huh. Way eastbound, sorry. Uh, and Jim's being contacted by Air One, and I guess I, I'm, I'm wondering, I guess we're all hoping that Air One kind of joins us because we've seen law enforcement uh, get close to this vehicle. Uh, we, you guys all watched it live here at Cowboy Hall of Fame where he was in the parking lot, and there's only one way in and out of that parking lot, and police had blocked off kind of... Uh, a part of the parking lot, but not all of it. And they he was were able hoping to squeeze he would do the right thing. <laughs> and and at, at that point, he was he was talking with people at the Cowboy Hall of Fame there, and we're thinking he was just going to get out of his car. Uh, he is stopped here now, uh, but uh, still traveling eastbound, yeah. northeast 63rd Street. Yep. And we are we are way east of. So it looks next? like we're going to be okay. uh, east of Westminster. <laughs> oh, we got Jim? Air One coming in. Now. Okay, so well, Air good. One is going to join this pursuit. That's why I had to talk with him. I'm climbing up 2.5. He's going to be at 2,000 below, so give him plenty of room to operate here. You got it. So Air One is going to join in, but I still see no uh, officers behind this car at all right now. But we are still eastbound, 63rd, coming up to Anderson Road. And we'll see if he goes. I, think, I don't think Anderson Road has a four-way stop. It's just a two-way. Now, now he's, now he's, now he's going fast. Again. Wow. Now he's really moving. So So he passed Anderson Road, Northeast 63rd Street, now going toward Hiawassee. And Jim, when Air One, you talk to him, what do they say? They're just coming that way? They're going to keep an eye on him? Yeah, they were just coming that way to, to get over this car. He didn't say anything about 
any officers, Oklahoma City officers or anything, or Oklahoma County officers, he just said he's coming in. And so he'll be shadowing this car also here. And uh, we'll just uh, we'll just have to see what takes place because now we are getting out here to uh, 63rd. And like you said, Amanda, we're crossing, going across Hiawassee Road. Looks like it's a four-way stop. We'll see what he does here. Like I said, he's the past few four ways he is he is uh, acted like a normal citizen there and pulled up and stopped at the four way stop. Well, now he kind of jumped that one a little bit, but uh, so 63rd again. We're going to be coming uh, if we keep going. We're going to be coming up here. I'm not quite sure if uh, 63rd don't turn into a don't end at the river here. Looks like 63rd continues on. Uh, what is one street that you just passed, Jim? Air One, uh, roger that. Uh, we're 2.5. Jim's 2 talking 6. to Air One, the police helicopter right now, as the police are going to join this pursuit once again. They were on it at one point, and presumably they uh, called it off because this guy has been acting dangerously d throughout yeah, this pursuit. Going very fast, and as he got closer to Oklahoma City, you saw law enforcement there pull off. But when Air One joins pursuit, I mean, Air One's not going to not going to be pulling off, and so uh, this guy has nowhere to go and we, we've seen him boxed in at several points but officers just haven't been able to get this guy to turn the car off and get step out of the vehicle so um, okay I do want to throw this in here because I'm looking farther east on Northeast 63rd Street and Jim is exactly right it will eventually dead end before you get to the North Canadian River there so he will have to make another move at some point if he wants to continue on. But yes, if he continues on going eastbound on Northeast 63rd Street, then he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, let's just hope he continues on 63rd. And by the time, by the time he gets to the end of 63rd, they can, they can box him in once again and this time uh, keep him there. But, uh, uh, and you, you've kind of seen that it's, it's almost like he just doesn't know if anyone's chasing him. I mean, I, I would think he'd see Jim the whole time, but, but maybe not. He's slowing down. He's, okay. he's stopping at stop signs. Okay, Jim. Choctaw. Yep, looks like he moved. He went went on Choctaw Road from Which direction on Choctaw, Jim? He went northbound on Choctaw yeah. Road from 63rd. Okay, so if he's heading now northbound on Choctaw Road, the next main road he's going to hit is Northeast Wilshire. Is it end? Is Choctaw Road? Uh, Choctaw Road okay. will end at Wilshire, so he will have to make a decision at that point. Uh, I'm sure glad you guys are helping me out here with the roads. <laughs> We're out in these rural areas, man. It's kind of hard to, to find out where they end and start up again. But uh, what uh, does Choctaw Road makes it, it's going to have to go either east or... That's right, it's that red SUV. The red SUV is coming up to the curb. You hear Jim talking with law enforcement there, talking with Air One that uh, has now joined the pursuit and just trying I'm to I'm sorry, I got my anchors to uh, talking to no, this is Wilshire right here. Then. So this is where he's going to have to make yeah. the decision to either go east or west. It looks he's uh, heading back eastbound east. now on yeah. Wilshire. And I'm guessing everyone's not quite there yet and asking Jim um, exactly where he is so they can they can join this pursuit. Once Air One is there, uh, they're not going to let this guy out of, the, out of their sights. So the good thing is, is this isn't a, a rural area right now. Earlier on, though, he was you going through idea? western a very busy area, uh, not too far from the Nichols Hills area. Um, and he, he made this kind of giant loop, right? He went, he went by that uh, Brahms on 63rd, uh, westbound and eastbound, didn't he? He kind of passed, went through. Okay, we uh, saw him go uh, Amanda, by, by Chesapeake's Air campus. One, the reason he joined the pursuit is that he got information that this is a stolen vehicle. Okay. That has not been confirmed, but that's what Air One has told me is that this that they told him this is a stolen vehicle. So now whether that's true or not, that may be the reason why he's not stopping at all. He's wanting to get away here if this is a stolen vehicle. So we are still uh, eastbound here. We're, on, we're actually on Wilshire Boulevard. And we're on Wilshire. We went to eastbound on Wil What is he doing here? So. Has, have you passed Triple X Road yet, Jim? No, I'm coming up to it, Amanda, probably within a half mile. And so we're eastbound on Wilshire. We're going to be coming up to Triple X Road. And so, uh, you know, he'll have to make a decision here whether it goes east or west or just stay straight. 
And we got it looks like it's another four way stop. There is a turnpike coming and up up there. Just, yeah, there's no yielding for a four way stop. So it is it is back on. He he knows that he's still being chased. That's right. We just picked up the speed. Break the monotony. We just passed over a grass fire that is burning burning on uh, <laughs> Well, we definitely need Burning the moisture. On triple X Road <laughs> there, sure. so yeah. that breaks up the monotony a little bit. wasn't a very big grass fire, but uh, it was in the trees there. So we did but get confirmation, just like Jim had heard, that, that this was in fact a we'll stolen vehicle. Down. Confirmation from police. Yeah. Let's new, listen uh, back into Jim. The, the turnpike spur here that goes north and south here. We're going to be coming up to that, but there's really uh, there's no place to get on or off here on the on uh, Wilshire Boulevard. So, so Wilshire is going to kind of go, it's going to continue to go yeah. east. At some point, it's going to kind of dip down south and go back up north, and then Wilshire dead ends as well. Right, right. Yeah, we're coming. It's going to be a pretty heavily treed area coming so up there's here. There's going over the, the turnpike, I would think. Okay, now he's, he's thinking again. He's thinking again. Okay, he pulled into somebody's driveway. Just on the east okay, side a, of the new turnpike there. spur, there. He's gonna just they push have a open gate. The gate. They push the gate open. There's really no place to go back there. So, Jim, where where is this between here? Well, right now we are Wilshire Boulevard. The next road would be Luther Road. So, between Luther and the new turnpike spur. Uh, there is where this is. Then he's pulling into somebody's yard there. That's it. Mm -hmm. We'll see there, what he does. There's a couple of homes right here, so we're just trying to figure out on the map which one it is. Well, this is going to be the south side of Wilshire, on the south side of Wilshire. South side, okay. And uh, then just on this, it's right on the east side of the new uh, turnpike there. So, so is he staying in his vehicle, or has he gotten out yet? Uh, I think he may have got out. No, there's somebody walking. Yeah. Yeah. That's him right that's there. That's the driver. Okay. He, that, that's him right there. I think he's looking to see if he can find another vehicle. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this well, is on the east side oh, of here town. Here he goes. We got officers showing up now. Good. All right. We got officers showing up now, so hopefully this will... All right, he's now in that... I don't know. He, don't look at him. Stay on the. Is it, he's in the. He's in the black pickup truck. Yeah, he's in the black pickup truck. Well. All right. Yep. There. Okay. So he was trying to steal another vehicle. Is what he was trying to do. Police have it. Okay, we got more police officers coming in. What is this guy doing? Just. He's not listening she, to officers, no. that's and for there, sure. And there's another officer right there. Too. They're going to let him walk. They, they better not let him get back in that. He is not Are giving you up. Kidding He's me. going to get back in. This has been going on now for about an hour. You know, in, uh, you know, we're, we're watching this thing and it's saying, tase this guy, you know, but, but it's not that easy. And how many officers are right there? He's uh, right now we got three uh, three officers and yeah, we got more two more arriving. Okay, is, is it can anyone walk goes. the driveway? So we got two coming up the driveway. They're going to meet him head on here. Uh, they, they, okay, he he bumped him. They're going to try to end this, and he is not well, wanting to give up. Look at that. It, he's still somebody block okay. him off from the road. All right. Uh, there's another officer coming in. Don't. Boy, I tell you what, this guy does not want to be caught for nothing. This is dangerous, yeah, too. Yeah, it's absolutely dangerous. Dangerous for, for people on the road. He's going to go through a fence. And he goes through the fence. He's going to be back on the road. Went through a fence. He's going to be eastbound on Wilshire Boulevard again. Holy smokes. But again, okay. Wilshire Boulevard right, does Wilshire. not last that right. long. He's going to pass Luther Right, it's going to come up to a... Okay, so, Jim, are these officers that were just there at the house, are they back on... Okay, good. I see your shot. Yeah, they're back on him now. Uh, we're crossing uh, Luther Road. We're going to be crossing Luther Road, and like Amanda said, if he crosses Luther Road, okay, now it's okay. he's got to go north or south, and if he goes south, it 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 just ends. 
And if he goes he's north, I don't, I don't I think, think he can it, go south. I think it winds around here and ends up in a dirt road. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, he's getting down here. It went south. It went south there. It looks like that may be Wolf Ridge Road. Wolf, Wolf Ridge, Ridge Road, 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 which turns into a Ridge Road. So hopefully, I mean, there's a little road that winds around here. Okay. This is going to dead end. He is not here. going to have too many okay, options. Okay, he took that road. Here. That road winds around and ends up at, at a residence here. Well, he's cutting through again. Somebody needs to block the... Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. We're back northbound on Wolf Ridge Road here. Now, the good thing is Air One's over it now. And, and so, I mean, I don't know why this guy is so uh, hey. set on trying to get away. I mean, he's, because he, Air he, One is over him. We're over him. And uh, I've been over it for... Okay, okay. Air One just advised me that he is shooting at officers now. He is now shooting at officers. So now this has turned deadly. This has turned deadly. We got gunshots fired at officers. I think it's it turned dangerous. I don't know that anybody's here, been so. hit, just to clarify. But definitely a dangerous situation. And, and this is obviously why officers, I mean, now he was at a house there, only one way into that property, and he, and he made it out. And, and that's why, you know, officers are going to keep their distance here. And they can't move in and just, like, tase this guy, put him on the ground. Uh, because, you know, obviously, you now this guy's... Uh, reports that he, he's fired officers. That's what we're hearing from police right now. So uh, a dangerous situation, but but this is why police take their time with this kind of uh, pursuit. Okay, okay, Jim, where are we? Okay, we are we are off. I'm not quite sure. Wolf Ridge right Road was it's, it's turned into a dirt road here. Now he's went into the back here from this residence here. Okay, we just got to be watched for for what happens here. Okay, don't let him back out on the road. Don't. Okay. And, and there's not that many officers here, so it's not like he can uh, block every way on and off of a property if this guy's off-roading. Right, right. He's on a, he's on a dirt road now. There's our one. And uh, like I said, wow. This says this is Wilshire, but I think it's Wolf Ridge Road here. Well, that officer just backed up. Well, if he's shooting at officers, Right. Yeah, they, they can't, I mean, until they totally get him stopped and get plenty of cover. Uh, he tried to get him, but he didn't get him. Well, he clipped him a little bit here. Okay, we got another. We're going to see what happens here. Stop sticks. I don't know if he got him or not. Is he leaning out of his car? I, okay, he may have got him because he's, he, he's kind of losing yeah, control. Yeah, the back wheel, I think. Oh, they got the back wheel or okay. something there. Well, his Back well, he kind of straightened least. out now, so. Yeah. Okay, so this is Wolf Ridge Road that we're on, which is going to be north of Wilshire right now. Now we have two units sitting at this intersection of Wolf Ridge and Wilshire. Okay, now he's going back southbound on that Wolf Ridge Road, which is, ends up being a dead end again, going into that residence. So... Yeah, if he stays Boy, on Wolf Ridge, what, whichever is, way, it's going to dead end. Is he north of Wilshire? Is yeah, this has been an extremely high-risk chase from the beginning due to all the four-way stops and stop signs and everything else that this guy has blown through excess of over 110 miles an hour. And now he's fired. I was told by Air One that he has fired at officers. Okay, there, he's getting into there. trees. Okay. Oh, hey, he stopped. All right, he, he hit stopped. a tree. So let's see what happens here. Let's see. If he's this pushing the, the officer it. backwards. He's 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 pushing the officer backwards. See what happens here. Stand by. Stand by. Yeah. Ob obviously, we don't want to show a nasty shootout here. So hopefully, this guy just ends up and gives up. But uh, he's now he's got faces a whole lot. More like charges now than just a stolen vehicle. That's it looks like he's sure. getting out of, the, out of the vehicle here, Jim. I can't tell if he's. Yeah, he's is he on the ground, Jim? Down on his knees. Oh, they just shot him. Wow. 
And they may have tasered him or used a non-lethal force like a, a beanbag bullet. We don't know that yet, but they wanted to get this this guy stopped because it, he has proven he's been so dangerous on the roads today. Not only with the vehicle that he apparently stole, but also shooting at officers. That was the report that we got confirmed from police just in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes. So that's why officers were taking their time with this chase and you saw them pull off several times but when they got right on him and he was squeezed in, he was pinned in, according to police, he was firing at officers. So And he didn't want to give up either. Mm -hmm. So the report we got from police is that he was pulled over because he was in a stolen vehicle, that vehicle you saw him driving there, and that's when the chase started. Started at Oklahoma County, Jones area, and then weaved down around 63rd Street, went up near Nichols Hills, back over to the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, back out east, and that's the east side of the county is where we're seeing this all end. As soon as we can, and we'll go back to Jim Gardner and get an update from him on everything that's unfolding. But the last thing that Jim said was that shots were fired. Now, exactly what that means, we'll have to learn. And you, and you saw him get out of the, the vehicle. But I think the, the one of the craziest things you saw was that he was out of the vehicle trying to steal another uh, a pickup truck that time to, to get out of that property. And then when he couldn't do that, he just got back in the car he originally stole, allegedly. He's OK. So. I just heard from our producer. Did, should we check in here with Jim? Can we go back to Jim? Okay, Jim, go ahead. What's going have, on? Uh, that have pepper shells in them, and I think they hit him with that the way he's rubbing his face and eyes there, but they are not approaching him. Still, he's, he's sitting down at the door of his vehicle there, rubbing his face, and uh, he's, he's sitting down, and they still have not approached him. Hey, Jim, I just want to make it clear, because the last time we heard from you, you said shots fired, because it looked like that they may have shot him. So what, what exactly did they hit him with, and what's the situation? I'm, I'm sorry, I was uh, uh, thinking about something else. What did you say, Carl? And Jim, we cut out of your shot after you said shots fired, so I just want to be clear that uh, this was uh, non-lethal. Um, what, what exactly did they hit him with? Right, I believe, uh, like I said, Carl, they hit him, I, I believe they hit him with one of those bean bags that have, like, pepper spray, in it, so when it hit, there was a big cloud there, and then he was rubbing his face and uh, eyes really bad sitting in there by his vehicle. So I think they used the non-lethal method, and they hit him with one of those uh, bean bags that are that have the pepper spray in it, and uh, and now they they've got him in custody now. So man, that's a good thing because this has been, I mean, this has been one of our more dangerous Absolutely. pursuits. As when you take into account that we've reached speeds over 110 miles an hour, going down basically a residential road. Uh, hang on just a second. Well, I appreciate it, man. I'm just glad you guys got that. Jim talking to Air One right there. The police helicopter, as police uh, on the ground started to fall back because the pursuit was getting very dangerous, Air One decided to launch. They were obviously watching Jim's coverage and Jim being very instrumental there in their pursuit and trying to get this guy stopped. This is a pursuit that went on for about an hour. And at, and at times, you see, you see him right there being taken away by police, right? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a red sweatshirt. Isn't that what he's wearing? Looks like they're yeah, maybe yeah, patting, yeah. Him, they're down. patting him down. Go ahead, Jim. They're searching him now and stuff. But boy, I am just glad they were able to get this guy in custody. Like I said, when we got out here on this rural road, just on the east side of the new uh, turnpike spur there that's when hang on just a second yeah and i think it's I, I think job. it's important to i mean just put yourselves in in the the job of police officers here because we're, we're sitting here watching that's jim right. shot going why can't they you you know spin this guy off the road when he's out of the vehicle why can't you tase him and you don't know what that guy's capable of. And then moments after that, he's firing at officers. If shots are being fired, that, that's a whole new ball game right that, that, there. That's what police told us. And, and at the time, I think, we, you know, five or six patrol cars, and they had to back off. You had Air One that joined the pursuit, and uh, uh, this thing has come to a peaceful conclusion. Wow. This is going to be just off northeast Wilshire, just east of the Kickapoo Turnpike in a, a rural area. Oh, let's see, just around the North Luther Road area in there, and that's where it ended, right there in the woods. So many times it looked like they had him cornered and he was able to get away, and then it took a, him being wedged by a tree and two patrol vehicles to finally uh, realize he, he couldn't go anywhere, and he got out of the vehicle. Jim, what's the update out there? Do they have him yet in the back of their patrol car? Uh, yes, they do. They searched him. Uh, they got him in the patrol car. And you can look at the big police presence out here now. I mean, there's agencies from all over 
that are in here. And uh, like I said, there's going to be, you know, a big investigation. You know, they'll have to send people back to where he was throwing stuff out of the car and try to find out what he was throwing out of the car. Like I said, this was a stolen car. Uh, then he shot at police over here, uh, you know, just on the east side of the new uh, spur and Luther Road, actually between Luther Road and a turnpike spur on Wilshire. And that's where he started firing at police here when he found out. He was almost blocked in, and, he, and they rammed him a couple of times, but he wasn't able to stop stop him at, and that's when he started firing at officers so man just a good 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 job of ending this with nobody getting hurt because for as long as this went as far as we went nobody getting hurt is a blessing here but the, it has came to a really good end it's Jim Garner reporting from Bob Mills Sky News 9 back to you and Jim if I recall some of the places he was throwing out items from the vehicle that was a long western Near he, he Wilshire. Was in, in several spots, but um, it was when he was in the Oklahoma City, city streets doing that. 